All right, first things first, guys. In order to make this homemade curry, the first thing we're going to do is add some mustard seeds to some oil. I'm going to turn it down on medium, okay? Medium to medium high. Now, when those mustard seeds begin to pop, then I'm going to add some coriander, some turmeric, a couple other spices, okay? But what we want to do is we want to get them mustard seeds popping, okay? On medium. Okay? And they're just about at that point. Okay, now, the mustard seeds began to pop, so I lowered the heat to medium. And right now, I'm going to add some ground turmeric. There we go. Coriander. Cumin. Into that oil. It's going to smoke a little bit, and that's okay. Then, we're going to add the onions. Okay. Now, this is a combination of red onion and shallot. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Mmm. See that lovely yellow color from the curry? That's coming from the turmeric. Oh, yeah. All right, now, I'm going to cook these onions on medium until they're soft and nice and translucent, and then we're going to move forward. All right, at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the flavor layer. So we're not going to add any black pepper, just a little bit of salt because there's black pepper in the curry we're going to be using. And I'm going to mix this in. And I'm going to cook these onions for about another minute or two. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Alright guys, so the onions, as you can see, have softened and browned. Okay? So, they're right at that point. Okay? So, I'm going to add in my garlic. That's right, get it off. I'm not going to waste any of that garlic, okay? And I'm going to add in my ginger. Come on out. There we go. Oh, oh the fragrance in here is fantastic. Alright, so I got the onion and the shallots and the garlic and the ginger all coming together in this here wok. All right. Just want to get it coated. And then in go the chilies. Okay, Morella, she likes hot and spicy. So here you go, this here's a combination of red and green chili, fresh, with the seed. Now if I need to make it hotter, I will later with some crushed red flake. But for right now, I'm going to get this going on medium high. We haven't even gotten to the meat yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Just a touch of chicken stock okay. to keep the curry from burning. We want the curry thick. Okay. We want the curry thick. But we don't want it to burn. So we just use a little bit of chicken stock every now and again to keep it from sticking. You'll see Jalfrezzi recipes that say, use water. But why waste your time? You're making chicken Jalfrezzi. Use chicken stock. Okay? Just a little bit. Just a splash. That's all. There we go. Keeps the curry thick flavorful and stops it from sticking. There you go. All right, now dropping some bell peppers, okay? One green, one red, okay? And I'm gonna sweat these down in this mixture and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so the red and green peppers have been cooking in here for about three minutes. 
on medium high and we're going to add our chicken okay. there we go just going to dump it in there okay alright now you will find that a lot of Jalfrezi recipes use chicken breast and I find chicken breast to be really really boring when it comes to curries and other dishes because they lack the requisite flavor necessary for the dish whereas chicken thighs which happen to be my favorite part of the bird have the darker meat and the richer flavor okay and so the thighs been added and now we're going to add some tomato all right some chopped tomato pony my favorite you guys all know that i like pony all right there we go and i'm going to get that tomato underneath everything oh lovely lovely oh yeah there we go there we go get that tomato nice and mixed in Alright, now I'm going to bring the heat back up to a high because I want to get all these ingredients boiling and then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. There we go. Oh, this is lovely. It smells so good in here, it's ridiculous. Okay, in the meantime, we're going to add the rest of our chicken stock. Okay, because at this point, nothing is going to stick to the wok as there's sufficient liquid and we are going to reduce this liquid in this curry recipe okay so I'm gonna bring this up to a boil again and then back down to a simmer and we'll move forward okay guys so the masala came to a boil and now I've got it down to a simmer and it's gonna stay here at this simmer for about 30 minutes give or take maybe a little longer I am going to add an additional ingredient you don't usually see this in Jalfrezi but I'm putting it in there because I think it allows the flavors to pronounce and that ingredient is sugar Okay, about two tablespoons sugar for about three pounds of meat plus all these other ingredients and I think the sugar helps the flavors to pronounce themselves. Okay, this is not a standard ingredient in Jofrezi, but it does make it taste good. It'll give just the slightest, slightest smack of sweetness to that pepper. Just the slightest, slightest smack. Now, next to that, I'm going to add in some garam masala. Okay. What I love about Indian cooking, Bengali cooking, okay, is that the recipes are pretty much very simple, but the flavors and the textures are so very complex. Okay with a myriad of herbs and spices. So here goes garam masala, okay? And I'm gonna mix that in good. Oh God, it smells so good in here. My neighbor's gonna be banging down the door again, which means I gotta feed him. And then I'm going to add some chicken masala, okay? This is a pre-measured spice mixture that you buy in the Indian grocery just like garam masala and it's called chicken masala and it is geared strictly toward chicken curry dishes okay a lot of extra spices in it fenugreek and things like that that are going to bring out the flavors of this dish it's just going to be amazing okay so I have the curry I have this Jofrezi okay and it's sitting here 
and I'm going to put it on the medium high. And I'm going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes. I okay, guys, here it is. Okay, chicken chalfrezzi. This has been cooking for about two hours. It's thickening up really nice. I came across some chicken legs. Okay, so I put some chicken legs in there to go with the thighs. Okay, and it's thickening up really nice. And as a last touch, I'm going to add some lime juice. Okay, I'm going to get that lime juice in there. And I'm going to simmer this for about another 30 minutes. Get that chicken nice and tender. Those thigh pieces nice and tender. Those legs nice and tender. And then we're going to serve this up. So I'll see you in about 30 minutes. Okay guys, there it is. Chicken Joffrezzi. Chicken curry. Okay, I've made this for Morella Blaze for her birthday. I hope she's enjoying it. I hope she enjoys it. It's nice and hot and spicy, just the way she likes it. If you like curry dishes, if you like making chicken curry or curry dishes, you gotta try this dish right here, Chicken Joffrezzi. I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you make this dish, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.